Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this lecture, we are going to learn about two important topics or two important terminology that you will always get to know about name node and data node. So let's try to understand what is name node and data node. So whenever you are working as a Hadoop developer or Hadoop admin, you will always try to understand these two terminology and even in lot of interview, they will they will ask you about what is name node and data node. So if you try to understand the Hadoop architecture, again the Hadoop architecture is behave like your master and slave architecture only. So in the master, you will have your name node. So let's assume that this is your name node and this is your data nodes. So data node or name node, whenever I'm just drawing this diagram, try to understand that these are the servers. So if I say that this is your data node one, this is your data node two, and these are your data node threes. Now, since these are the servers, these are the, we are also calling it as a node. Some people are also calling it as a server. Obviously it will have their own RAM and disk and the CPU will be there, the number of cores actually. It will also have the respective RAM, disk, CPU. Same is here and same is happening in the data node two and data node three. Now what is the use of the data node? First try to understand what is the use of data node. Data node are mainly useful for the storage purpose. So they are the one which are actually your storage of your Hadoop. Your actual storage is your data node only. So are we storing our data in the data node? Yes, but for that what we are doing, we are, we are just collecting all the data nodes at a single frame, we called it as a HDFS. So what I'm doing, we are calling it as a HDFS. So this is your HDFS. So when you say that you want to store your data in the Hadoop, basically that data is going inside the HDFS only. So data node one, data node two and data node three are actually store your data under the HTTPS, which is shared resource. And we called it as a distributed storage also. This is your distributed storage. So who store the data? The data will get stored in the data node in the form of HTTPS. How to file system. Now, what about the name node? The name node is a, like behave like a brain of your computer. The name node behave like a name brain of your computer. So name node know about where is your data. So let me tell you one example. Let's say that you want to store one file. Okay. Let's say you want to store one file and that file is of size 10 GB. That file is of size 10 GB. What happened? Whenever you are storing that file of 10 GB, that file will get stored in the data node one, data node two and data node three. Because whenever you are storing your file in the Hadoop framework, that file will get distributed among the different, different data node. So it is going into the data node one, data node two and data node three. This is what we call it as a distributed storage. Now, when you are want to store the file into HDFS, we need to know where the space is available, which are all blocks are empty. So this free block entry is available in the name node. Name node have the metadata information saying like these blocks are free in the data node. So you can go there and store your data. And the replication, let's say you are storing, replication is also important, right? Because you know how to framework is fault tolerant. Fault tolerant. So if one of the disk get failed, we have a, another copy through which you can recover your data. So what is the purpose of name node? Basically, it stores the metadata information about your data. Where is my data? Where I can store my data? And if you are just, if you want to select some data, if you want to retry the data from the Hadoop, that Hadoop where my data is available will be also maintained by your name node. Name node have all the details about your data, but he is not the storage. He is not the storage. The storage is basically your data nodes. 
So we have a data node one, two, and three. We can have a multiple data nodes also depending upon project to project. Right now we have a three data node and one name node. Along with that, we can also have your secondary name node, secondary name node. They are behaving like a active and passive. So at a time, only one name node can be working and this will be your passive. So likewise, the architecture is there. We have a job tracker also here. And after that, we have a task tracker will be available on the slave machines. Slave means basically your data nodes. I'll be discussing about more in the next lecture. If you have any questions, queries, let me know in the comment section. And if you are looking for Hadoop training, definitely you can contact me. Thank you so much. Bye bye. See you again with the next video.